socialism and communism. A good way to think about it is that communism is a political system mm -hmm. and socialism is at root an economic system. Um, they're cousins. They go well together. The Soviet Union was communist and socialist. And at some point, it overthrew both. So the Soviet Union now has a certain type of gangster capitalism, but it's neither communist nor socialist. But look at China. China was a communist socialist society. It got rid of the socialism by moving toward a peculiar type of market system, a market system controlled by the state, but nevertheless a relatively free market. But it kept its communist political structure intact. Mm -hmm. So no democracy, no free elections, controlling the lives of the people. But they can work, they can become millionaires, they can, they can make products, they can gain money. So, so China is a really good example of the way of preserving communism while jettisoning socialism. Well, As the Chinese are they're kind of offering their citizens a bargain, which is mm -hmm. that you've been poor, desperately starving peasants for, for millennia. We're going to basically fill your stomach, and we don't want you to say one word about your rights because we're giving you something you've never had before, and they're trying to keep the Chinese content with that bargain, and that's the question. Turning to coronavirus for a second, you know, the left needs today the politics of fear. Mm -hmm. This is kind of why they try to whip us into a frenzy all the time. You see, Marx thought you wouldn't need any of this. Marx thought that the revolution was scientific. It would come automatically. You don't even have to fight for it because it's going to happen by a law of history. But nowhere did the workers revolt against the capitalist class, not in Marx's time, and not to this day, anywhere in the world. So the left has realized Marx was wrong about that. There's nothing scientific about socialism. What we need is panic. And then since the 70s, the left is like, we're running out of food. In the 80s, nuclear apocalypse. In the 90s, the ozone layer is going away. The last 20 years, climate change, the oceans are rising. And now coronavirus, the, the, the theme is the same. We want to take rational people and create a crowd stampede. Mm -hmm. So because crowds behave differently.